Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering from ELD's Time Ball Games. Here we have some spicy lists here. Mono Red Prison versus Karn Forge. Not sure if Matt has the one ring in his list. Take a look at that, but it certainly has been an inclusion in many of the Mono Red Prison lists. We have a pair of Chalice of the Voids, one at zero, one at one, and a Rabble Master. Picking things off. Grim Monolith on the other side. Or Mog. And he's able to land a one ring. That's going to give him temporary protection from this Rabble Master and all his goblin buddies. Turn that you cast it. Protection from everything. It's also indestructible. This card just creates a mountain of card advantage. We see Crystal Vein and Ancient Tomb, so at least four mana available. Let's see what he can do. Block is ticking, but if I had to pick a side to sit on, I would rather be on the side with the one ring. There is a lot more upside potential. Prison's going to close this out in two turns, but that is a long time. This much explosive potential in your deck. Oh, and look at this. The Karn shows up. And he blows up the chalice that's at one. That is really brutal. Now, I don't know how much this Karn Forge has in it. Oh, we see the second one ring being cast, putting the shields up again. So the Karn doesn't have protection, so he can get cleared. But this is going to be an untap with a one ring with three Voltaic Keys. I mean, he's going to be able to draw so many cards this turn. Honor Red Prison really not going to have anything to say about it. Not like you can counterspell any of this stuff. You're pretty much putting your cards on the table, hoping that they get there. Soul Lands put in so much work. Ancient Tomb, City of Traders. Oh no, Paradox Engine. This is going to be a wrap. Legacy playable Paradox Engine. Plays a artifact. All of his artifacts are going to untap. It's just going to be so much mana. At this point, just kind of learning about what cards are in the deck. There's no way that he can actually fumble from here. Going to draw so many cards, and every time he's going to be able to untap all of his permanents that he plays one of these cards. There's a Karn. Everything is paying for itself and then some. Matt just scooping it up. He's he's seen enough. Karn can actually just grab just about anything to uh, to win from there. Walking Ballista would probably be lethal. Not going to have the play. He's got a Blood Moon. If he can cast it on the first turn, that could slow Mog down enough. Really what this deck is looking to do. Bam, a turn one Blood Moon versus those blue decks shut off their fetches. We have a turn one Chalice at zero and a Blood Moon. Crystal Vein. Joined by an Ancient Tomb. Mog making his land drops. his saga i believe just went right to discard oh grim monolith that is a big leapfrog in mana and a hard cast fury that at least sets a clock Let's see what mog can do with his limited mana here six mana into paradox engine oh no untapping even though this is countered it's whenever you cast the spell not when it enters the battlefield so that lotus petal Untapping, and he may just combo off right here. 
going to have protection for the turn. Each turn, or each spell that he casts, making it more and more likely that he's just going to win. Getting six mana per card. Every card he plays, he's getting six mana out of, and an additional ramping up on this one ring. So all of these cards are being countered. We are seeing Chalice at one and zero, countering Lotus Petals, Mox Opals, Voltaic Keys, Manifold Keys. All of those will get countered, but not going to be a problem. Grim Monolith and Basalt Monolith, each tapping for three mana each time. Oh, he's drawing six. And there's the Emrakul. So just like that, comboing out. Thank you for watching. For more magic from ELD's Time Vault games, be sure to subscribe and check out more videos just for you over here.